Okay, so you're very welcome to this week's Clean Coast Quiz. I hope everybody is well. I hope you've had a good week. Um, I hope, um, I hope you're keeping well. And tonight we're going to have the usual five rounds, eight questions per round, and it'll take about half an hour to do. So I think this week is a little bit tricky. So I think we all might learn something, which is never a bad thing. So let's begin our, our quiz to try and bring some of the coast to wherever you are at home at the moment. Round one, true or false? Now again, don't be put off if these are hard. You'll learn something. It's always, it's always a good thing. So true or false, a mermaid's purse is the egg case of a shark, skate, or ray. So you can have a think about that. Is that true or false? And again, I'll be recapping the questions before the answers. So if you miss something in this round, you, you can um, have a chance to quickly see it again. So question two. Greenland is located on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Is that true or false? Okay. Question three, an octopus has three hearts. True or false? Okay. Question four, spring tides occur when the sun and the moon are in line with each other. There's a little diagram there. So spring tides occur when the sun and moon are in line with each other. Is that true or false? Okay. Question five. Is this true or false? The beach at Coral Strand, County Clare, is made up of broken parts of coral reef. Is the clue in the name? Is that true or false? Okay. Number six. Jellyfish don't have a brain or a heart. True or false? What do you think? Question seven. True or false? Without the Gulf Stream moving through the Atlantic Ocean, Ireland would have much warmer winters. So true or false? Without the Gulf Stream moving through the Atlantic, Ireland would have much warmer winters. True, false. Um, let's go to question eight, the last one of this round. Pinnipid is the Latin group name for seals, sea lions and walruses. The word pinnipid refers to small eyes. Is that true or false? So basically, is it true or false that the word pinniped refers to small eyes? So have a minute to think about it. Okay. 
Okay, so round, <coughs> excuse me, round two. This is the breakdown game, which I am hoping you might learn something about and you might know something about. So let's go. How long does it take for a plastic bottle to break down? So roughly how many years does it take for a plastic bottle to break down? Number two, what about a cigarette butt? How long do you think? And you might be surprised at the answers to some of these. And a lot of people I don't think realize that cigarette butts have plastic in them. So they are, they are a nasty pollutant and they are one of the biggest, if not the biggest, um, findings of, of litter, um, especially on the streets in Ireland. Okay. Number three, what about an aluminium can? How long do you think it will break down? What will you take to break down? Okay. Number four, what about a cotton shirt? How long roughly will it take for that to break down? And if you come within, you know, a few years either side, I think it's fair to say you get a point. Okay, number five, your fishing line. How long do you think it takes to break down? I think about how strong fishing lines are. Okay. Number six, what about a milk carton? How long do you think that takes to break down? And I think it's safe enough to say that we're looking for the body of the carton, not the plastic, you know, top of the carton. Lid, if you like. Okay. Number seven, what about a fast food box? And the final one in this round, nylon tights. How long do you think they take to break down? And again, we're just, you know, it's really important to kind of think about all of these things in a, in a larger context, especially the amount of damage they can do, how long they're in the environment for. So again, we we'll recap before we give the answers. So if you miss anything, these questions, you can have another chance. So before we move on to round three, we're going to recap round one and have a look at the answers. So round one is a true or false round. Basically, eight questions. One, a mermaid's purse is the egg of a shark skate array. Greenland is located on the Middle Atlantic Reach. An octopus has three hearts. Are all of these true or false? Spring tides occur when the sun, moon, and moon are in line with each other. Number five, is it true or false that the beach at Coral Strand is made up of broken parts of coral reef? And that's in County Clare. Number six, is it true or false that jellyfish don't have a brain or heart? Number seven, is it true or false that without the Gulf Stream moving through the Atlantic Ocean, Ireland would have much warmer winters? Number eight, Pinniped is the Latin group of name for seals and lions and walruses, or seals, sea lions and walruses. Does it mean small eyes? So, the answers. First one is that mermaid purse. It's true. And you can see that almost most shark skates and rays give birth to live young, but some lay their eggs, which is surrounded by a tough protective casing. And these eggs, the egg cases 
a commonly known as Green Mermaid's Purse. They can be seen washed up on beaches. So number two, false. It's Iceland that's located on the Middle Atlantic Ridge. Number three, octopuses have three hearts, so that's true. Number four, when the sun and moon are in line with each other, they pull the ocean surface in the same direction, which causes higher tides. Uh, sorry, it's higher high tides and lower low tides. So we think about that, the push and pull of that. So that answer is true. Five, that beach in Clare, it's false. So the particles on the beach look like coral, but they're actually detached parts of a coralline or calcified algae. Number six, jellyfish don't have a heart or brain are, in, are made up of 95% water. So that's true. Number seven, the Gulf Stream moves warmer waters up around Ireland. So without it, we would have much colder winters. So that's false. Number eight, pinnipid or pinnipede refers to thin footed animals. So it's false. So how did you get on in that round? So moving on to round three. Uh, on average, how long, and these are just general questions, how long on average is a plastic bag used before being thrown away? So how long on average is a plastic bag used before being thrown away? Is it 12 minutes, two hours or three days? Two, what is the largest fish species around Ireland's coast? And this was in the news this week. If anyone was looking at RTE and I think Virgin as well. So what's the largest fish species fish species found along or around Ireland's coast? Okay, number three. What is the average wingspan of an adult wandering albatross? So what is the average wingspan of an adult wandering albatross? Is it 6.2 meters, 1.5 meters, or 3.4 meters? Okay, number four. The mythical creature in Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End is similar to an octopus, but what is it called? So I, I think I've been warning through those a little bit, so I'll give you some time. The mythical creature in parts of the Caribbean that looks like an, an octopus, what is it called? Number five. Sources of marine litter include A, litter dropped in towns and cities, B, poorly managed landfill sites, C, microbeads from personal care products, or D, all of the above. So you can have a think about that. Number six. The largest breeding colony in Europe is found in Ireland for which species of seabird? Is it the puffin, the rosita fern, or tern, sorry, or the guillemot? So Ireland has the largest breeding colony of which species of seabird? Number seven. 
What Irish place name is the blank clingfish named after? So the something clingfish is named after which Irish place name? Number eight. Name the only three things you should flush down the toilet. And the hint here is they all begin with P. So what are the three P's that are the only things that you can flush down the toilet? Okay. So again, we'll recap after the next round, we'll recap on these on the questions in this round. So you'll have another chance to, um, if you need to go back over something or have a time to think about it. So we're gonna recap round two next and have a look at those answers. So what we were looking for in round two was the breakdown rates of these items. One, a plastic bottle, two, a cigarette butt, three, an aluminium can, four, a cotton shirt, five, fishing line, six, a milk carton, seven, fast food box or eight nylon tights. So what are the breakdown rates of those? And the answers are plastic bottle would take about 450 years. Number two, a cigarette would, depending on where it is, will take between eight say a year and five years to break down. An aluminium can will take about 200 years. An aluminium can is completely recyclable, it can be recycled all the time. It has no, um, you know, a lot of plastics have, depending on the quality of plastic can only be recycled a number of times, but there's no restrictions in that on aluminium. So it's a great product to buy and recycle. A cotton shirt would take about two to five months. A fishing line is going to take about 600 years to break down. A milk carton will take about three months. And a fast food box will take about two months. A nylon fabric, you're looking at about 30 to 40 years. So there's an, always a case for buying natural products in terms of clothing for so many reasons. So I hope you did okay in that round. And we're gonna go on now to round four, which is guess the sea creature. Now there's a little clue for each one. So let's see, what animal is this? The hint here is these animals are well recognized for eating small fish such as sand eels. They can dive to considerable depths and they stay submerged for up to a minute. Okay. Number two. What is this? And the hint is they can be a problem for swimmers in Ireland. There's usually a bit of a hoopla when a lot of them are around and there will be reports in the media. Okay, three. 
What is this? What do you think this is? Again, the hint, these elements are beautiful. They are deadly. And I love this fact. They can club prey with wrecking ball fists that spring forth from their bodies at about 50 miles per hour, accelerating quicker than a 22 caliber bullet. Isn't nature amazing? So what animal is this? Okay, I think. Number four. What's this? And the clue here is they're found around Ireland's coast. And they can reach length, a length of about nine meters, which is similar to the length of a Dublin bus. Okay. And again, you'll have a moment to have a look at the questions before I give you the answers. So if you miss anything, you will get another chance. Okay, number five. What about this? What animal is this? And I suppose it's a well known, well known fact about this animal is that the males give birth to their young. Okay. Number six. What do you think this is? And I think this is a cool fact that they're sometimes called living fossils because they've survived relatively unchanged for millions, hundreds of millions of years. I'm going to leave that with you for a minute because just have it, you think about it. Okay. Number seven. What about this? It looks like it belongs in a tropical reef but they're really common in rocky habitats around the coast of Ireland. What do you think it is? Okay. And the final one of this round what do you think this is? So you can see them on seaweed and rock pools. Okay. And again, I'll leave that with you for a minute so you can have a, a strong think about it. Okay, so we're going to recap around three now and have a look at those answers. Okay, so the general kind of questions around three. Number one, how long is a plastic bag used before being thrown away? Is it 12 minutes, two hours or three days? Number two, What's the largest fish species found around Ireland's coast? Three, the average wingspan, or wing, wingspan of an adult wandering albatross. Is it A, 6.2 metres, B, 1.5 metres, or C, 3.4 metres? Four, 
The mythical creature in parts of the Caribbean is similar to an octopus. What is it called? Number five, sources of marine litter include A, litter dropped in towns and cities and inland, B, poorly managed landfill sites, C, microbeads from personal care products, or D, all of the above. Number six, the largest breeding colony in Europe is found in Ireland for which species of seabird? A, puffin, B, rosea tern, or C, guillemot. Number seven, what Irish place name is the blank or the something clingfish named after? Eight, there are only three peas that you should flush down the toilet. What are they? The answers are one. The answer to one is A. The plastic bag is used for about 12 minutes before being thrown away, which is insane. Two, the largest species of basking sharks. And again, that there was some amazing footage off the coast of Clare this week, earlier on this week, um, of surfers with basking sharks, um, one of which works on the coastal program with us. And uh, he said it was just incredible. Three, the wingspan is 3.4 meters. Four, the octopus-like creature is called a kraken. D, which I'm sure most of you got, was all of the above. Six is the Rosea tern, which is the largest breeding colony of such species found in Ireland, in Europe. I know I phrased that a little bit long, but you know what I mean. Seven is the Connemara clingfish. And eight, the three poos are pee, poo, and paper. And anything else at all can cause really serious impacts to the environment as well as blocking drains. So we're going to move on now to the final round, round five. We're going to look at Ireland's coastal geography. And let's begin. First one, how long is the Wild Atlantic Way? Is it A, 1400 kilometers, B, 2600 kilometers, or C, 3200 kilometers? Okay, what do you think it is? If you wanted to go to Skellicvihill, you would depart from A, Port Salon, B, Port Ploy, or C, Port McGee. Okay, have a think. Number three, which is the tallest of Ireland's lighthouses? With its 54 metres in height, which one is the tallest? Okay, I have some time to think. Number four, which island off Ireland's coast is the largest? So which is Ireland's largest island?
Which one do you think it is? Okay. Number five. If you wanted to go to Inish Boffin on the ferry, where would it depart from? Cleggan, B. Clarehead, or C. Clare Galway? So the ferry to Inish Boffin departs from A. Cleggan, B. Clarehead, or C. Clare Galway? Okay, number six. Which county in Ireland has the longest coastline? Okay, so which county in Ireland has the longest coastline? Number seven, where in Ireland, where, where is Ireland's largest natural harbour located? I think this harbour is the second largest natural harbour in the world as well. So where is it in Ireland? Okay, number eight. If you wanted to go to Inishore, you would depart from A. Doonbeg, B. Doolan, or C. Dugort. Okay. So now we're going to recap round four and look at the answers to round four before we look at the answers to round five. So you've completed the quiz this week. Well done. Now you'll have a chance to have a look at the questions to round four and five before we give the answers. Number four, what type of animals were these? What were they? Leave it up for a few seconds so you can have another look. Okay, next four. What animals are these? Already? Ready to have a look at the answers? One was, of course, a puffin. Two was the lion's mane jellyfish. Three is the beautiful mantis shrimp. Four is the basking shark. Five is the seahorse, of course. Six is the nautilus. Seven is the colourful cuckoo wrasse. And eight is the sea slug. So how did you do? Okay, and let's move on to round five. The answers, we'll recap the questions and then have a look at the answers. So round five, one, how long is the wide Atlantic way? Is it 1,400 kilometers, 2,600 kilometers, or 3,200 kilometers? Two, the ferry to Skellicvihel departs from Port Salon, Port O'Cloy, or Port McGee. Three, What's the tallest lighthouse in Ireland? Four. What's Ireland's largest island? Five. 
you take a ferry to Inishbofin, you will depart from A Cleggan, B Clover Head, or C Clear Galway. Six, which county in Ireland has the longest coastline? Seven, where is Ireland's largest natural harbour located? And eight, to take a ferry to Inishore, you'll depart from A Dunbeg, B Doolin, or C Dugort. Okay, and the answers to the final round, E. The Wild Atlantic Way is 2,600 kilometres. The answer to two is, of course, Port McGee. If you're going to see the Skellix, you're going to leave from Port McGee. Three, Fastnet is the tallest lighthouse. Four, Ackle Island is the largest island. Five, you're going to leave from Cleggan. Six, Donegal is the largest coastline of any county. Seven, the largest natural harbour is Cork Harbour, which is, I'm pretty sure, the second largest harbour in the world, full stop. And B, you're going to depart that ferry, or eight, I should say, is B, you're going to depart the ferry from Doolan. So I hope you did okay. I hope you learned some you learned some facts. I know I certainly did. And I hope that it was a nice way to spend a little bit of time at home this Thursday evening. Um, and it's always our pleasure to bring something of Ireland's coasts and all those facts to you. If you have any suggestions, please do get in touch. As always, we hope you're well, we hope you um, are doing okay and stay safe and stay home. Take care.